Abantun artist a Stupid Boy has finally clapped back at Dr. Ofunike. Last week we got to see Dr. Ofunike making some remarks about Stupid Boy. He was visibly angry because Stupid Boy had failed to show up for an interview that they had planned and Stupid Boy had made his reason pretty clear and he had made his stand pretty clear that he wouldn't attend or show up for the interview unless he was paid. I can cancel last minute because of my Literally a stupid uh, being a Kwambia. So last minute. So those are waiting for stupid boy. He canceled last minute because he wanted to be paid. So stupid boy, just wait. We'll pay you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Judging from how Dr. Ofwenike was speaking, they probably had refused to, to pay him or were not willing to pay him. So a lot of us were waiting to see what would Aban what will this Abanton artist say. You know, we were waiting for his response and we thought that he would give his response that day, but he did not. However, he has given us this response and this is what I want us to look at. Remember that Dr. Ofwenike had said that one day, stupid boy attempted a footer seeking help in promoting his music. Well, let's hear the comeback that stupid boy had for Dr. Ofwenike. interview this is a revolution. I mean, we just have to agree it's a revolution and it's a revolution taking place in the creative industry because artists, even artists who are coming up, is just tired of being paid with platform exposure and people are tired of trending. These celebrities, these artists are tired of trending and not getting money in exchange. Their work is being exploited, but they're not getting anything in exchange. So as we've had Stupid Boy say, I mean, some of that, when he first released his songs um, or the first songs that he released, a little interviews, and he would show up for these interviews, but unapata hakwa anapewa anything, hakwa analipwa. And so you imagine this is an artist, you know, people at home, by the way, or what um tapale, wana mona, be different what one amona that you know i may rise through the ladder and he is famous now and people assume that all this fame comes with money so if get if he gets back to the same area and people are asking for kachai here and there and he cannot be able to provide this then people start mocking him people start telling him that we when he's a celeb na how na do so this is something that he as an artist and his crew they have decided that they will no longer give free interviews and it is very understandable because even in going for these interviews if they if they weren't paid at all that means that they themselves had invested in it by catering for the fare and for the lunch for the clothes because you got you can't show up to an interview looking anyhow you know kanza kama we ni msani lazima upige luku hapa na pale so it is very much understandable that stupid boy is just asking for what do i get in return and if i'm not getting anything in return then there is no need for me to show up 
So in summary, because as some of us may struggle understanding Shembeteng, but in summary, what he has basically said is he won't do no more free interviews. He doesn't want to be famous and broke. He doesn't want to trend and qua street and to see what because of being broke. And also that Ali, why fanya interviews before, as I, as I've said, and they weren't really paid anything. He has also mentioned Wakadinali right there, so he is following in the footsteps of Wakadinali. Wakadinali peer are known to say the same things or say the same rules. For us to come up or for us to show up, you have to pay us. Honorable and billionaire Steve Mbogo also chimed in to this story and here's what he had to say. Steve Mbogo here. Now today I want to briefly give my take on this issue regarding Dr. Foneke and um, the young artist called Stupid Boy. Now, in my take, I clearly believe that Dr. Ofoneke was wrong on this issue simply because when you call people into your shows, when media personalities call us into your shows or your interviews, number one, you people monetize our content. You get paid, you get rewarded with royalties through your uh, social media platforms, be it YouTube, be it TikTok, be it, you know, all, all the platforms. So I don't see a problem where the young man said he needs to be paid to come to your show. Number one, you're earning money from the content he brings into your show. We watch your shows because you're calling the people we want to watch. So I think for all the media figures, one thing we need to understand is that gone are the days where you will bully people to come into your shows and give content in your own accord. Today... The young generation and the world of today is capitalizing in what we call the third industrial revolution, which is the revolution of internet of things, internet energy, internet communication, internet transport and logistics. So I think going forward, in fact, if I was in parliament today, I would have brought forward a bill that if you are to be called in any interview, you need to have an agreement with the interviewer or the presenter in terms of the earnings of the royalties, because you people earn money and you don't want to negotiate with people who are bringing their content to your shows and above all you 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 want to get mad and pissed and call people names so dr foneke i believe you're a grown-up you're a brother of mine a friend of mine you have to apologize to that young man just a reminder you can drop your views in the comment section it is something very easy to do and the, com the comment section is completely free to use so it's your go you can catch me here always on bnn where we give you all the updates all the trending stories and all the gist here in nairobi and in kenya i've been your girl Rai Luangari. always keep it bnn